guys, so today I have another Pummel Clay charm update for you guys, so let's just get started. So first off, I have this seahorse charm inspired by Sugar Charm Shop, and it's an antique piece, I guess. Um, so it's pretty detailed, I really like how it turned out. It has some liquid clay on the back, so it's more sturdy, um, but it just looks like this, and... Yeah, <laughs> so I made another one, which I'm pretty proud about, I guess, for the both of them, because they're pretty detailed, again, and the back, again, just has some liquid clay, so I have those two, and then I have this Mickey Mouse cookie, and I think it's super cute. So I just have that, and then I have some burgers, I have this one, and I really like how it turned out, and then I have another one, but this one doesn't have sesame seeds on the top, and it has a square beef patty. And then I have this little cake with a strawberry on top and a tiny leaf um so yeah and then inspired by xos rufus i just have some more um rock charms and it just has this mustache that says like a sir attached to it so a black cell phone strap and it's really tiny <laughs> so yeah and then going along with the mustache theme, I have this mustache cupcake. And I spelled mustache wrong when I spelled mustache, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's the quote. I mustache you a question. And that's kind of a fail because I already glazed it. But that's okay because it still turned out really cute. Um, so yeah, and then I have this little starfish inspired by the helicopter, and I don't know whether or not I should turn it into a ring or a pendant, so comment down below what you think, and I'd love to know that. And then I have these jellyfish charms so I tried two different types of jellyfish one has the tentacles I guess more spread out and the other is more I guess together um so comment down below which one you like best as well um so yeah I just still think they both turn out pretty cute and they're kind of small so I thought that was pretty cool as well and then I have this really random musical note, and it just goes along with the seahorse texture, as you can see, and it's also antique and has some um, liquid clay on the back, and I think it's kind of cool. I really like the texture on it, so yeah. And then for some cupcakes, I have this little panda cupcake. Um, so I think this turned out pretty nice. It looks really cute. And then I have this little cupcake, which is turning to stone. And his little legs and arms are just flailing everywhere. And yeah, I think it's hilarious to look at. Because his facial expression is really funny. Um, but yeah, I really like how that turned out. And then I have some mini and Mickey charms. So these are just how they look. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I think they're really cute. And yeah. So there's just those two. And then I have this berry bottle charm with some strawberries and blueberries inspired by fairy tea charms on youtube and hers was just strawberries i added some blueberries in it just to mix it up um but i think it's pretty cute 
So yeah. And then lastly for the polymer clay things I have this little dinosaur. I think it's pretty cute. It's blue all around. And it was supposed to be a dragon, but I failed and cannot make wings for the life of me, so it ended up being a dinosaur, but still pretty cute, so yeah. And lastly for this update, I just have this Totoro ring. It's not polymer clay at all, I just cut out an um, image and put it in and then dumbed it over with resin, but I still think it's pretty cute, so... Yeah, and it doesn't fit any of my fingers, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, so this is my charm update. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry, I haven't really been posting many craft things in a while. But yeah, so look forward to more videos in the future. I hope you can comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!